The stocks and shares ISA can create a barrier that protects your investments from tax. In today's video, I'll give a beginner's overview of the UK's stocks and shares ISA. We'll cover how much you can save in an ISA, why it is the best way to maximise your returns. Hello everybody and welcome to IQ Investing with me, Lewis, where we talk about saving, investing and everything in between. Quick disclaimer, I am not a qualified investment advisor, I'm just an amateur investor who simply loves saving and investing. With that out of the way, let's get started. ISA stands for Individual Savings Account and is essentially a tax wrapper for your money. There are currently four types of ISAs available. These are cash ISAs, lifetime ISAs, innovative finance ISAs, and stocks and shares ISAs. Any interest earned on a cash, lifetime, or innovative finance ISA will be tax free. Any capital gains or dividends held within an investment from a stocks and shares ISA will also be tax free. The annual ISA allowance is £20,000 in the tax year from 2020 to 2021. In this video, we'll be focusing on stocks and shares ISAs, but I will be making a video in the future to focus on the other types of ISAs in the UK. When investing using the stock market, the returns you earn can be broken down into two different categories. There are capital gains and then dividends. Let's have a look at these two in some more detail. Capital gains represents a profit from the sale of the investment. These profits are subject to tax, called the capital gains tax. Let's look at an example if we do not use a stocks and shares ISA. Let's say you buy 1,000 stocks in company X in 2015 for five pounds per share, and then you sell those shares in 2020 for 50 pounds per share. Nice investment. Well, you bought the shares for £5,000 in total and sold them for £50,000. So you made £45,000 in profit. In the tax year from 2020 to 2021, the capital gains allowance was £12,300. Capital gains tax is 10% for basic taxpayers or 20% for higher rate taxpayers. This means you could pay as much as £6,540 in tax on your profits. Now, let's look at the dividend payments. Dividends are cash payments that companies pay to shareholders just for holding the stock. Many publicly traded companies pay out dividends. In terms of dividends returns, the tax-free allowance for the 2020 to 2021 tax year was £2,000. Now, that does look like a lot of tax relief, but as your portfolio grows, you will soon hit that limit. For example, if you are a basic rate taxpayer and you earn £3,000 in dividends, you will pay £75 in tax. These examples show why it is critical to use the stocks and shares ISA when investing to maximise your returns. If the investments in these examples were made in a stocks and shares ISA, you would pay nothing in tax. You can set up stocks and shares ISAs with almost all of the major trading platforms in the UK. I'll be making a video soon on how to set up an investing account with Vanguard, so be sure to look out for that. And that's a quick overview of UK stocks and shares ISAs. Stocks and shares ISAs are tax wrappers that allow you to invest on the stock market without paying tax on capital gains or dividends earned. The ISA limit for the 2020 to 2021 tax year is £20,000 a year. You can set up stocks and shares ISAs with your favourite investing platform with ease. If you want to see more videos like this, I post new videos each week on saving, investing and everything in between, so make sure to subscribe. If you found the video useful, make sure to smash the like button and share it with a friend so that they can benefit from tax-free investing too. Are there any questions that you have about stocks and shares ISAs? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching.